to today's tutorial in today's tutorial we're going to learn how to do a pencil case in very easy simple steps i hope you enjoy it if you enjoy it, please don't forget to give our video a thumbs up don't forget to share as well on your timelines on your social media pages wherever anybody will benefit from this please do share if you've not yet subscribed to this channel i would treat you to subscribe now and hit on the notification bell just so that you'll be notified anytime a new video is uploaded so you're going to need your zip for me this is about a nine inch zip the paper for your stenciling vinyl fabric a4 size it's easier to work with it uh, in that size as well some craft pegs your scissors your measuring um, tool your ruler and your marking tool for me i'm using my pencil okay so i've gone ahead to put my stencil in on one side i forgot to mention that i have a handmade tag here just for embellishment you can always do away with that if you don't need it okay so my stencil paper is just the same size as my main fabric so what i've done here i've done my markings on one side of my paper when i put it on a fold i'm going to be transferring whatever i have here onto here and it makes it easier so i have whatever i have here i'm going to have it on this side as well all right so i'm going to start measuring from the bottom up here i'm going to measure 2.5 centimeters then at that point i'm going to come in at 4.5 centimeters then i'll go across 7.5 centimeters and then back down 4.5 centimeters okay now from there i'm going to leave a gap about um 7.5 centimeters and then at that point i'm going to go in here 4.5 across 7.5 coming out 4.5 Five, then i'm leaving a gap here at 2.5 wherever you get to you're going to be cutting off this line so i'm going to go ahead and cut this off i'm just going to fold my stencil into two equal parts on a vertical like that okay i'm going to cut this that that this that that so like two boxes out okay and because i folded it whatever i do on this side of, of automatically comes onto this side so i'm going to cut, get my um cutting mat and then we do the cutting and from there so i'm going to cut these places that i've cut out and this is what i have here and we're going to go ahead and place our stencil onto it and cut out the pages to pick the spaces as well all right so here all right so this is what we have this is what you should have in the end now i'm going to bring my zipper i'm going to split it up into two and that makes it easier to stitch with okay so what i've had to do is just to take the metal bit here it's a zip stopper to help me undo my zip okay and then we take it from there okay now i've gone ahead to do one step and i'm going to show you exactly what i've done here so i'm going to line up my zip i've split up the zip in the previous step you remember and i've lined up one zip let's do it on the other side now remember wherever the zip stoppers are line them up and i've gone ahead to also mark where my vinyl is going to start from okay just so that we are starting at the same length remember to match your metal stopper ends as well okay whatever you do on this side do the same thing on the other side now i'm going to go over and do a top stitch here and there and then come back to the next step okay so i've stitched it it wasn't that easy as some of my stitches were puckering but i was able to do it uh, beautifully now i'm going to try and slide in my zipper puller now you're going to cut two strips of vinyl the size of each strip is not 0.75 inches by two inches when you've done this you're going to fold each strip into two equal halves on the right side and then you're going to push it at both ends of your piece or your work piece okay so watch me do this i'm going to just fold it into two equal halves on the right side and then i'm going to push it in there 
I'll push it in there on both sides. So whatever I do on this side, I'm going to repeat the same thing on the opposite side as well. Make sure they are beautifully lined up and run a stitch on both sides. Okay. Now the next step is to hold it on the opposite side, just like I have done. And then use your pegs or your craft pegs to hold it and run stitches on all sides of the other part. Okay, just like what I'm, I've done now, you're going to run stitches on all four sides like that. Put it under your machine and run a stitch on it. With all our stitches done and threads neatly cut, we are going to turn our bag or little pouch inside out and then we see what we've done. While we work from the inside to open the bag, um, I'd like to talk to you about our up and coming bag making workshop for new groups. We are starting a new group in February. We now have the morning session and afternoon session with the morning one starting from 9.15 to 11.45 and the afternoon one starting at 12 o'clock p.m. prompt and finishing at 2.30 p.m. If you're interested, um, let us know. You can give us a call on 074324409994. or send us an email to skills.hands.org at gmail.com. You can also visit our website for more information on our workshops, on all our workshops, and we are looking forward to hearing from you and you being part of our sessions. Our morning sessions for the bag making has been dedicated to the beginners class, whilst our um, afternoon sessions has been dedicated to the advanced class. We are doing marvelous things, as you can see from our tutorial videos. It will be lovely to have you join this group. Let us hear from you and you can join the group as well this workshop is free to all unemployed women stay home moms or women with caring responsibilities and those on low income living in nottingham however if you do not meet the criteria i just talked about to assess these workshops for free you would still be able to join us but you have to pay for the service wow look at that our bag is taking shape our bag is taking shape and I like what I'm seeing. Now what is left is just to embellish it. At this point, you don't really have to do it um, because um, we already have our bag. But I always say that a little extra, not too much, something little always adds a unique touch to your creation. So I'm going to just put on my handmade tag now and that will be it. So lovely people, all too soon we've come to the end of today's creation. If you like this video, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to share our videos as well. Leave all your comments in the comment section below. And we'll be sure to respond to all of your questions. Until we meet again, have a lovely day. Bye.